Well, this is an unusual sort of blog for me to be doing. I'm far from the sea. I'm actually on the River Thames in Twickenham in West London. And opposite here is Eel Pie Island, notorious in the 60s and the 70s for the carrying on of the pop groups that used to come here. An amazing place. And behind me is the Barmy Arms, where a fantastic wake is going on for a chap that I knew. Not well. We bounced off each other like ships in the night, really, me and Gordon. We made a TV series many years ago called Boatyard. And Gordon had a boat called a Sharpie. The point about Boatyard series was that we were actually rebuilding boats and uh, people were doing impossible things with no money. And that, that was Gordon in a way. He had this boat called a Sharpie, which he sorted out over here. And the program was technically about what he did with the Sharpie. But you know, it wasn't really. It really was about Gordon and about how he felt about life. And Gordon knew a lot about life. He'd kicked around a lot. He'd seen the world and he knew how it worked. Television allows you to reach thousands and thousands and thousands of people that you're never going to meet. It's a very great responsibility to perform on television because you can change people's lives very easily. And you know, I think Gordon probably did that. A sea voyage in a sailing ship is a bit like life because you sign on and you go off and you're at sea maybe for months. You're there with your shipmates, you're stuck with them and you can't get off mate. That is it. Those are the people you've got to live with and you've got to either learn to love them or something awful's going to happen. And most people learn to manage okay. And that was how Gordon did with his life. He came here and he was like a magnet for people. Everybody loved him. He was a man who liked to drink. He didn't do great things with his boats. He didn't sail around the world. But he was a magnet. People adored Gordon. And so, the message he sent around the world on Boatyard, because Boatyard's been repeated all over the place. I get, I get emails from Australia about Boatyard, and they ask about Gordon, and I'll be able to tell them now that dear old Gordon has gone to his reward. But my goodness me, if you'd been here today at the crematorium and seen those hundreds of people crowding in, all sorts of people, very few ties amongst them, all sorts of clothes, girls with hair all over the place, grown-up women, chaps, old gentlemen walking in, tapping their white sticks, and young lads reading out poems that they'd written for Gordon. <laughs> what a thing! An absolute privilege to be here. So, television has a lot to do. It can do a lot of good for the world and a lot of harm if it just doesn't think about what it's doing. And I think Gordon is a lesson to the people who run television stations. Spread a little happiness. Rest in peace, Gordon, my old friend.